Shamandar Roko Soto Basata What's up people of God? God bless you. Bam Bam. I'm excited to be with you, to see you. Got some in interesting, incredible things to share, to minister, to prophesy. But I want to declare over you, supernatural increase is coming. I'm telling you, the dams are breaking, the floodgates are breaking. There's going to be rivers overflowing. Get ready for supernatural harvest and increase. And I know for some of you, you might say, Dr. Ben, this sounds too good to be true. Well, do you not know that this is the good news, right? I am a bearer of good news, not of bad news, not of sad, sorry news, but we are bearers of good news. So I want to declare over you that there is something supernatural happening where in this month of September, it truly is the month of supernatural harvest. And I believe that God's about to show up and show off. So get ready for miracle signs and wonders. But listen, I want to talk to you today uh, because I really believe that there is uh, a wall breaking, dam breaking anointing where there's a tipping point and there's an overflow in the spirit. Amen. And my job as a minister, as a prophetic voice, is to help activate faith in your spirit. Amen. Does anybody believe? Does anybody believe the good news? Does anybody believe in the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Amen. So I want you to say hallelujah. And I want you to give us some hearts and likes and just begin to share this on your wall. Amen. It is just about 1220 p.m. Pacific Standard here. And I am here in Northern California. Praise God, we had a wonderful, awesome opening night last night in uh, Sacramento, in Florence, Sacramento. And I'm here in Northern California. And tonight, I'm going to be ministering in Modesto tonight. And then tomorrow, I'll be ministering in Galt. Galt. Then Sunday morning, I'll be ministering in Stockton. Then Sunday afternoon, back in Sacramento. So we got a full weekend, full, full weekend. So excited. Uh, of all that God's doing. And listen, I want to share real quick a little bit about last night because, you know, it, it, it's been good to see the supernatural move and increase, but there was supernatural weight loss that took place last night. Amen. All right. The Bible says that the fat belongs to the Lord. Uh, the Bible also says that he takes away the spirit of heaviness. And so last night we saw supernatural weight loss. And that was a noticeable, notable miracle that took place last night. As well, my gosh, there was metals dissolving yesterday in Sacramento. Uh, incredible uh, testimony where one woman, uh, there was actually three, four people who testified that they felt a difference because they had metal plates, rods, uh, you know, metal screws in their body. Of course, this is... Uh, you know, uh, a foreign thing to our natural body. It's a man-made thing. Amen. And so God will create or recreate bones and miracles in our body. Amen. And so this woman, uh, she had seven. She had, she showed her scar on her arm right here. And she had a, a scar about maybe four or five inches. But there was a, a seven screws, a metal plate, and a rod. But yesterday, for nine years, she got an accident. For nine years, she was able to move. Uh, you know, she was able to, you know, touch uh, the, her vertebrae, the center of her spine, of her back, you know, doing this. So God had totally healed her. <clears throat> she felt such a shift, such a difference. And, you know, as there was supernatural weight loss happening, metals were dissolving. This is called creative miracles or glory realm miracles. And, of course, hallelujah, there was, uh, you know, oil that began to supernaturally manifest from the back of the head of this woman of God. 
Now, first and foremost, uh, you know, we have to understand that if oil can come out of the rock, right? If the oil would stand for the Holy Spirit, the anointing of God, uh, I want you to come in oil. If the oil, the anointing of the Holy Spirit uh, is within you, then does does that not mean that there's a natural manifestation or an outward manifestation? Could there not be an outward uh, sign evidence of the Holy Ghost of the anointing? Amen. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. And uh, this uh, elderly woman who's an intercessor, who's an apostle, I, I guess, because they called her apostle, who's an apostle, elderly African-American woman, as we were in the glory, hallelujah, she began to feel oil drip down the back of her head. And she would put her hand back there and you could see the oil and the gold dust and the glory around. Amen. So somebody say, say hallelujah. I'm telling you, friends, we are in a season right now where God's opening up the floodgates of heaven. And the Lord is releasing supernatural increase. So today I want to talk about supernatural increase because I believe many people watching right now. Comment below where you are watching from. Comment below. I want you to comment below where you are tapping in from, or where you are watching it from. I know it's lunchtime for many of you, and it's Friday. Shabbat Shalom. But as you're jumping in, comment below where you're watching from. Give us some hearts and likes, and I want you to begin to, let's build up the room, the realm, and the algorithm in the spirit realm. Somebody say, hallelujah. But I want to declare over you that supernatural increase is coming. I'm telling you, all this week, I'm seeing increase in every area of our lives. And, uh, you know, God is so good. Listen, I want to say this. First and foremost, we know that this is the last Hebrew month of 5784. And we know we're about to step into Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the 10 days of awe. Amen. So there's an increase or a ramping up. There's a building up anointing. But you see, when the enemy comes in like a flood, God will raise up a standard against him. So right now what we're seeing is we're seeing a duality or we're seeing both sides. There's an increase of witchcraft and warfare, but there's also an increase of power, fire, miracle signs and wonders. Amen. So some of you, you're probably experiencing some of the backlash or the withholding. You're experiencing some of the nonsense of the evil left. You're experiencing some of the nonsense of the demonic side of the de demonic agenda. But if you're feeling or sensing experience an increase, of lack, of heaviness, tiredness, depression. You're feeling an increase of the realms of darkness. Well, guess what? God's about to release realms of glory and he's about to shine Jesus' shine. And I want to prophesy right now that there is a light coming. There's a light coming. Light is shining, manifesting from the face of Abba, from the face of the Father. Amen. So there's revelation and there's even exposure. But this is a very important month in this month of September. Amen. And I want to declare and prophesy over you and into your spirit, man, that there's supernatural increase coming. And if you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Now, listen, I'm going to go to some verses here before I give you some prophetic points. But I know what happened to me, what's going on with me, okay? And prophetically, as a prophet, as a prophetic voice, we all know that prophetic people, we are the sign. I want to say I am the sign, which means as intercessors and as leaders, we become the pioneer sign. It happens to me so it could happen through me. It happens to me so it could happen through me. So whatever God is doing many times, it will first happen in your life, bam, and then it happens through your life. Amen. And uh, I know what what's happened to me this week, all right? Now, some of you, maybe you, you saw what happened, but, you know, I went through some unfortunate things at U.S. Customs upon arrival here in the United States on Monday, okay? The devil is a liar, all right? And upon my arrival from seven countries traveling to Asia, the nations of the world, and, uh, you know, as I came back home to Los Angeles on Monday at U.S. Customs at LAX, something unfortunate happened. The enemy is always trying to steal, kill, and destroy. Uh, but you see, as that attack happened, guess what? The Lord released double, amen? All right, the next day, bam, Tuesday, we received a 40,000 uh, US dollar donation, amen, from one of our top donors. So even though the enemy tries to come in like a flood, he raises up a standard against the enemy, amen? Now, I'm sharing this with you because the Lord released double for my trouble. 
He released double for my trouble. I was held up for four hours being questioned, being, I wasn't necessarily detained, but I was held up for four hours after long flight, long travel, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I knew that the enemy was targeting me. Amen. And even today, somebody sent me a link where uh, allegedly the Biden administration is targeting certain types of people. But you see, I went through that warfare on Monday upon my return, where on Monday, it should have been a joyous celebration, reception of the man of God celebrating after seven weeks of being in the nations, plundering hell, populating heaven all across Asia. Amen, amen, and amen. But as I came back home on Monday, bam, guess what? An unusual, unfortunate situation happened. I've never experienced anything like that in my life upon U.S. Customs. Then, bam, the next day, the Lord released a $40,000 check. Because someone said, amen. And, of course, 40 stands for the end of the wilderness. 40 stands for the end of suffering. I want to declare right now, you're coming to an end of a season, the cycle of suffering, the cycle of bewitchment, of wandering of the vagabond spirit, the cycle of going around and around the mountain. It's coming to an end right now in Jesus' name. 40 years they were wandering in the desert. 40 years they were stuck because, hear me now, they complained, they were aggravated, they were in the flesh, and they cursed God because they doubted the Lord. And because of that, that opened the door to a strong man and kept them bound in the wilderness. But I want to declare right now, God is calling you to come out of the wilderness. And guess what? When you leave Egypt, you're going to come out with seven bags of recompense. Someone say amen and amen. But you see, we received the $40,000 check literally the next day. So I want to prophesy next day miracles, same day miracles. I want to declare over you that supernatural harvest and increase is coming. Come on, you shall rise. You shall increase on all sides. Get ready for the water banks to break. Get ready for the dams, for the walls to break. I prophesy overflow is coming. Justice recompense is coming from seed to shining sea. Rokoto, come on. He's not just filling you, but he's going to release the flood of heaven. Come on. There's going to be a flood of the glory of God, a flood of the Holy Spirit, a flood of revival, a flood of justice. Come on. Rakata, even what's going on in Myanmar, the country of Myanmar, Burma, and Asia right now. There is a flood in Myanmar, but we declare as a knowledge of the glory of God shall cover the earth as the waters cover the seas. There is a covering of the glory, a baptism of the Holy Spirit, a baptismo and immersion. Some would say amen, amen, and amen. So we received double exactly the next day. What the enemy took from me, and you catch my drift, what the enemy took from me, and actually from the ministry, because the enemy literally took, but we're going to get it back. Amen. But you see, we received double the next day. So I want to declare and prophesy that supernatural increase is coming. Let me say one more thing here before we go into the word of God. Are you with me today? Someone say amen. Are you munching on this prophetic grace on the Arama word of God today? I want to talk to you about supernatural increase. And I'm giving you a personal example of what I'm going through. Because like I said, quoted, stated earlier, whenever God does something corporately, he many times does it personally. Now, if there is a witness in the spirit, I want to say amen. Because there's many of you right now, you are experiencing a holding back, a cutting, a separation, backlash, warfare, confusion, witchcraft, all right, just heaviness, blah, blah, blah. But God is breaking that and he's going to release increase. Amen. So here I am in Sacramento. And like I shared earlier in the beginning, I'm in Sacramento. Oh, wow. Show. I'm in Sacramento, California. And did you know that as California goes, so goes the world. And of course, Sacramento is the capital of this golden state. So literally, this is one of the most important capitals of America and in the world. Are you catching my drift? Sacramento is one of the most important governmental capitals in America and in the world because California is such a large state, fiscally, pop, by populace, by influence, uh, even spiritually, historically, right? So California and Sacramento is such an important precipice peace to this revival. And here I am, I'm ministering last night, and, and it's my 
really, it's, it's probably one of my first times really having a ministry tour in Northern California, even though I'm a Californian, I'm native Californian, right? So God is opening doors. He's breaking something open. Hallelujah. Now, last night, hear me now. There was a, a, a couple, a minister couple, that were sitting in the front on the left side. And as I was ministering over them, the Lord started saying, Job, 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 like J-O-B, the story of Job. And the Lord began to minister and say, uh, I see Job over you. You've gone through suffering, but God's going to turn it around. Job 42, double for your trouble. Come on, those who left you, those who hated you, slandered you, they're going to come back and bless and honor you. There's going to be a, a returning, a comeback, a nothing, bam, 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 and amen, bam, bam, bam. But at the end of the service, this minister comes and he shares what happened. Because him and his son had an unusual medical condition called Job's syndrome. There is an actual medical condition that's called Job's syndrome. And here I am in the glory, bam, I'm ministering prophetically over this, this minister couple. And, and the Lord says, Job, Job, Job. And guess what? Him and his son, they have something uh, medically conditioned that's called Job's syndrome. Hallelujah. And boom. They said, Dr. Ben, we want to have you come to our church in Stockton. They came up from Stockton. Now, you have to understand, as I'm just giving a little bit of information, Stockton is actually one of the crime rate capitals of America. Of America. Stockton is known statistically, factually, as one of the most crime rate, highest crime rate uh, capitals in America, okay? I think even murder rates, homicide rate, crime rate in America, okay? And this minister is from Stockton, and he just opened the door. So Sunday morning, I'm ministering in Stockton. I'm telling you, something's going to break out. Something is going to break out. I know by the power of God, by the word of the Lord. Do you know why? Let me say this. Every year, hear me now. This is going to be very important for you. Every year around this time, September, October, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the 10 days of all. Every year around this time, hear me. There is a massive closed door that happens in my life or in the ministry. Some sort of warfare shaking, testing. There's a closed door, but there's also a massive open door that happens. If you receive that, say amen. And what I've realized many times is that around this time of year, there is an extended revival that God gives me. Hallelujah. Two years ago, I believe we were in Phoenix, Arizona, 11 days long, Lancaster, California. Hallelujah. Even my first 21 day revival at His Way Life in Koreatown, Los Angeles, where the Lord taught me about the glory realm and gemstones, gold, the supernatural fragrance and manifested. So every time around this year, there is a grace for extended revival. Some would say amen. So I want to declare right now, God is opening doors. He's going to release the spirit of extended revival, genuine revival. Revival in Northern California in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say increase is on all sides. Did you know the name of Joseph, Yusef in Hebrew means he increases. So of course, you know the story of Joseph. Yusef, Joseph had to decrease. He was in the pits. He was betrayed. He was in prison. He was, hallelujah, at Potiphar's house. So there was such a decrease or a debasing before he increased, before he stepped into the prophetic call of his name. I want to declare right now, you are about to increase like never before. Get ready for that Joseph's anointing. Amen. Which means your dreams are coming to pass. Your dreams are about to be fulfilled. You are about to eat the fruit of your prophetic dreams. Get ready for miracle signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Someone say, I will rise. So listen, I want to give you a few verses here because... I shared all of this now to set a foundation of this prophetic word declaration today over your life. Get ready for increase. Supernatural increase is here and it's coming. I declare it now. Let's go over Leviticus chapter 26, verse 3 to 4. Amen. And I'm going to pin it here. If you follow my decrees and are careful to obey my commands... I will send you rain in its season and the ground will yield its crops and the trees their fruit. Amen. Now there is a participation in the things of God. God wants to bless you. He wants everyone to be blessed 
prosperous and happy and joyous. Amen. But there's a participation, a collaboration, cooperation, a partnership. Right, And so if you obey the word of the Lord, if you're careful to obey his commands, then he will send you his rain. I want to prophesy over the fires of California. Rain's coming. That fire will be quenched. It will be squashed. It will burn to nothing. You are about to experience the rain of heaven. Are you hearing the man of God today? I'm prophesying over you. You are about to experience the rain of heaven. The outpouring of heaven. And I want to declare right now, I get to see in the spirit, the last quarter of 2024, in America especially, I believe there's going to be record-breaking floods, record-breaking rain levels amounts. In the last quarter of 2024, there's going to be record-breaking water levels in America and in the world. Remember that in Jesus' name. So God's setting the rain. The rain stands for substance, sustenance. It stands for blessing, it stands for the Holy Spirit. And he's sending the rain and the Bible says the ground will yield its crops and the trees their fruit. Are you ready to yield, to bear fruit? Are you ready to gain? Are you ready to receive? Amen. Uh, I feel the Lord. Let's go to another verse here. Genesis. Hallelujah. Genesis 128. Genesis. Thank you, Jesus. If you're with me today, say amen. Genesis 128. God blessed them and said, be fruitful and increase in number. I want to say I'm increasing in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish and the sea and the birds and the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Amen. So hear me now. God blessed them. He baruch them. He released the braha. He released the breath of God, the blessing of God, the right hand of favor of blessing, the anointing of heaven. He blessed them and he said, be fruitful and increase and fill the earth and subdue it. Amen. Whenever God blesses you, there is increase that happens. There is increase that happens. Now, I feel this right now. I got to go over to the lexicon here. Amen. I feel like I got to go into the lexicon here to get the exact meaning in Hebrew of what this word increase is. Jesus. Actually, so this is the word here. It is Rabbah. I want to say Rabbah. And in some other translations, that word increase is multiply. It is multiply. In Genesis 1.28, Rabbah. It means to become much or many or to become great. Become much, many or to become great. Thank you, Lord. It means to become many or numerous, become great, make large, increase. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So hear me now. As there is an increase of evil and wickedness, there's an increase of glory. As there is an increase of attacks, there's an increase of the power of God. As there is an increase of delusion and deception, there is an increase of truth, wisdom, and revelation. So God is releasing the Rabbah so that you will become much, many, and great. Multiply and increase. I want to say I am increasing on every side. God bless them. Once again, whatever God blesses will increase. If you have the hand of God on your life, you will become great. Next verse. Deuteronomy 30, verse 16. Deuteronomy 30, 16. For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to work, to walk in obedience to him, excuse me, and to keep his commands, decrees, and laws. Then you will live in ink, live and increase. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land you're entering to possess. I want to say, I'm about to possess my promise. You see, when you are walking in obedience with God, everything begins to increase, heighten, go up to the next level. Everything in your life, your the quality. I want to say quality. Okay. Now, increase is not just about quantity; it's about quality. Increase means that the Lord is adding value. Amen. Like you see, all right. And please, please hear hear my heart, right? I mean, you see 
this watch here. This is a wonderful, beautiful Rolex. Hallelujah. You see, this watch, just by the brand and the quality, it has greater value. You see, this watch, it's a nice watch as well. It's Gucci. This is a great quality, but this is a higher quality. That's why there's a greater value to the watch. Are you hearing me? God is about to add value. He's about to add quality. I see right now that there is an increase of value, an increase of honor, an increase of the substance, the authority, the glory of who you are. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. Zamatana brata. I feel the Holy Spirit. The Lord's about to add value. And you're about to go up in quality. And that is increase. Thank you, Jesus. How many, how many of you know, people think it's all about numbers and size, but there's no substance. People think it's all about numbers and quantity, and but, but there's no depth. It's a shallow. Amen. I, phew, just lift up your hands right now. Thank you, Lord. God's about, God's doing something so amazing, so supernatural. Thank you, Jesus. Some would say upgrade. That's right. Miracle signs and wonders, upgrades on all sides. You will live and increase if you obey the word of the Lord. And maybe that's why God's been blessing me. He, I mean, he, he is my ultimate reward, but, but it's because I obey the Lord and I've paid the price. All right, last verse, and then I want to give you some prophetic points and pray for you. Shana Mandia Rabrata. Acts 9, 31. Acts 9, 31. Then the church throughout Judea, Galilee, and Samaria enjoyed a time of peace and was strengthened. Living in the fear of the Lord and encouraged by the Holy Spirit, it increased in numbers. Amen. So there is an increase coming. The Acts Church, the revival church of the end times of this time of today, this church of the Holy Spirit should be increased from glory to glory, level to level. Amen. Sana Matia Rabrata. Ramandia Rabrasa Tarabrata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The waters are rising. The water levels are rising. Amen. Javarabatia Rabrata. Second Corinthians 3.18. And we all with unveiled face, beholding the glory of God, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. All right. Now, what that means is from glory to glory, level to level, faith to faith. But I want you to think about degrees. I mean, it's pretty hot up here in Northern California. All right. Yesterday, I think it was like 87 degrees. Praise God, right? I missed 110 right, degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. But I want you to think about something increases in degrees. It gets hotter. It, it, the temperature begins to shift. You feel a noticeable difference on your body, on your health, in the atmosphere, the mood. As the degrees increase, everything begins to change. I want you to think about this. All right, let's think about 110 degrees or 100 and, I don't know, 17, 20. I know in Arizona, in Vegas, in America, I mean, it was stinking hot, right? So it, I think it almost went up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So I want you to think about this. As it increases in temperature or degrees, can anything live? Can anything live? As it increases in such Heat and degrees of heat. Can anything live? Why am I saying this? Because the Lord's about to increase the degrees of the fire of God. So that all that's left is pure liquid gold. Pure liquid glory. 
All that's left is pure refiner's fire, liquid glory. Somebody say amen. I'm telling you right now, the degrees are increasing. It's getting hotter. The fire's going up. Everything in your life from glory to glory, breakthrough to breakthrough. Get ready for what God's about to do. Listen, friends, I want to give you five prophetic points here. Amen. Number one, you're about to increase. In influence and authority. In influence and authority. I wish I had a witness in this place. Does anybody believe and receive this? There's going to be an increase of influence and authority. By the grace of God, I'm here in Northern California first time. God's opening new doors. I'm making new connections. There's an increase of influence and even authority here. Amen. So God is increasing your influence and your authority. Thank you, Jesus. Number two. There is an increase of supernatural activity and miracles. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. Come on, someone say signs and wonders. Like I said, almost every year around this time of the year, Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, there is a realm of extended revival that God breaks open. And that's what I've perceived for my life and my ministry. Because this is a new Hebrew year. And 10 days of awe, come on somebody, get ready to be in awe of Jesus. Get ready to be in awe of heaven, amen. And so in this season, I believe that there's going to be an increase of supernatural activity and miracles in your life. Get ready for signs and wonders, get ready for financial provision, debt cancellations, get ready for healing miracles, salvations, prodigals returning. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. In this season, there's an increase of supernatural activity and miracles, signs and wonders. He's stirring up your faith, he's stirring up your heart, he's stirring up your expectation. So I declare it, I decree it as a man of God in your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Number three, hallelujah, there is an increase of angelic activity. Amen. There's an increase of angelic activity. Hallelujah. Now you may not know it, but angels release destiny scrolls. And angels release the realm of revelation. That's why whenever there were dreams or visions in the Bible, right, the patriarchs, the matriarchs, the apostles, many times there would be an angelic presence or an angelic witness. Whenever there were dreams or visions or encounters, manifestations, Christophanies, theophanies, because angels carry that realm or angels are present when that realm opens up. So I believe that there's an increase of angelic activity. Hallelujah. Though the enemy comes in like a flood, he'll raise up a standard against them. So there's an increase of angelic activity, which means even dreams and visions. If you receive that, say amen. I want to declare right now, because I can just feel it by faith. Today on this Friday, on this Shabbat, many of you will receive a prophetic dream tonight. In Jesus' name, mark these words. Someone say amen. Hallelujah. Number four, there's going to be an increase of breakthrough, an increase of breakthrough and respect and honor. Okay, what I saw in the spirit was that there's going to be reconciliation, double honor coming to you, uh, public repentance. All right, hallelujah. So number four, Shabbatah. An increase, amen. Increase a breakthrough and shut about and recompense that's coming into your life. I'm telling you, friends, get ready for double for your trouble. Even as I shared earlier what happened to me on Monday, just this Monday, coming back to the United States, and on Tuesday, the Lord released a $40,000 check to our ministry. All the glory goes to God. That was double for my trouble, double of what the enemy tried to take from me on Monday. And I'm not going to go into details, but this is a season of recompense, of breakthrough. It's a season of restoration. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Shana Mandiara Brata. In your life, in your health, your relationships, in your ministry. Amen. He's the God who gives you back time all the years that the locusts have eaten. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen and amen. Shana mandia rabrata. Rabasota rabrata. Zika rabasata. 
zabarabato ribe sokorabata rekata and listen number 5 the fifth thing that there is an increase happening right now which listen i don't want to prophesy doom and gloom okay but we must be aware as intercessors, we must be aware as prophetic ministers of the gospel, as watchmen, watchwomen on the wall. But the fifth thing that I must say and I must share and release is that there's going to be an increase of bewitchment and confusion. Okay. Now that's the gospel. That's the words of Jesus. That's the red letters of Jesus in the New Testament. But even in this season, there's going to be an increase of bewitchment and confusion. Let me ask you, have you been experiencing some demons manifest around you? Have you been experiencing some demonic manifestations coming out of left wing, left corner? You know, and some of them are even your friends. Some of them are even people that you love that were around you in, in a circle. You're like, you're shocked. You're like, what the heck? What is going on? What is this? Where is this coming from? Where is this coming out of? Well, you know, whenever we're in a season of transition, especially around Rosh Hashanah, whenever we are in a season of transition, those hidden demons begin to come out of the woodworks. It's exposure time. It's revelation time. Amen. Which means that God is shining the light and he's finally dealing with it. I want to prophesy that God is dealing with it right now. And whenever it is this time of the year, the witches come out of the woodworks. That sounds like a good book title, doesn't it? Witches out of the woodworks. That's what begins to happen because God is releasing fire. Someone say fire. He's releasing justice. He's releasing breakthrough. Hallelujah. And even in midst of the glory of God that's breaking out, supernatural increase on all sides. Come on, there is the enemy who's trying to prowl like a little Chihuahua Taco Bell dog. And there is the enemy that's trying to slander and attack and pull you back and bog you down. But the devil is alive, the fire of God, the Lord. Lord rebuke you, Hazatan. I'm telling you, Roko, in this season, the enemy is roaring like a lion, seeking whom he can devour. But that deception, that bewitchment, that witchcraft will fall and will break. Some say, preach, Dr. Ben. I'm telling you today, my friends, in the name of Jesus, by the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you that this is a season of increase. And though God is increasing his blessing and pouring out his spirit, amen, though God is releasing the power of Jesus, still there is an increase of demonic activity. Unfortunately, there will be an increase of deception, an increase of bewitchment, an increase of attacks. There will be an increase of suddenlies, people going home suddenly. But I cancel every premature death assignment. I cancel every accident that has been set up by the devil. I cancel every trap, every booby trap, every snare. I cancel every Jezebelic scenario where Delilah has been strategically planning for your derail and downfall. I prophesy the light of Jesus is shining and God's about to expose. It will be done with, annihilated. Come on, you are the head and not the tail. You have the upper hand in Jesus' mighty name. There's increase on all sides. So beware of the wolves in sheep's clothing. Shut up. Beware of those that you share too much with. Beware of those that are around you in your inner circle. Amen. For not all those who are with you are actually for you. And not all those who are around you want to see you win in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen, hallelujah. Come on, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, supernatural increase on all sides. Though the enemy comes in like a flood, he shall raise up a standard against him. And in this transitional month, in the last Hebrew month of 5784 of this Hebrew year, in the Hebrew month of Elul, Lodi Dai, Lodi Anile, Anile, Lodi Day. 
I am my beloved's and he is mine. The king is in the field. This is the month of supernatural harvest. The king of glory is about to deal with your enemies. And he's about to catch the little foxes in Jesus' name. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Jesus, I ask you for increase. Increase greatness, vastness, expansion, stretching out on all sides. Amen. Get ready for the fire of God, for the breakthrough of heaven. Son of Mandia, someone say increase. Somebody say increase. Supernatural increase is coming. Supernatural increase. Thank you, Lord. Even as the church in Acts saw an increase of angelic activity, signs of wonders and souls being saved. There'll be an increase in your life. If you believe and receive that same. And now listen, friends, Monday, I am doing a free Zoom webinar. I, I want you to join. Please join because I want to teach you uh, the importance of Rosh Hashanah. And I'm also going to prophesy the word of God for 5785 and 2025. God has given me an anointing. I mean, you know, some of you are going to think that's boastful, but he's given me the ability to really discern times and seasons. That's one of the graces on my life, on this ministry. We have an Issachar anointing. And uh, he's given me a very clear prophetic word for 5785, the new Hebrew year, and for 2025. And this Monday, we're doing a free Zoom webinar on the prophetic word for 2025, 5785. Transition into the Hebrew year, the new year, transition through Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, 10 days of all. Transition with me this Monday. Free Zoom webinar. Uh, we have pinned the link, amen, in the chat group. And you have to register, uh, amen. It's a private closed group. We're going to go deep into the things of God. And there will be a life-changing impartation show that's released. It's going to set you up and prepare you for what God's about to do. Amen. So if you're joining, I want you to comment joining. It's at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. It's on Monday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. Hallelujah. It is this Monday, September 16th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard. And if you're joining or you're interested, I want you to comment joining or interested. It is imperative, my friends. For you to join this Zoom webinar from all around the world. Please consider joining because it will change your life. Amen. The link is pinned to the chat group, my friends. I don't know why people cannot see this. But please register. Get ready. Share with your friends. Share with uh, interested, like-minded spirits, people. Amen. Because God's about to do something supernatural. When you honor God's feasts. He will honor you. When you honor God's timeline, then you come into alignment with the things of God. So praise God. Yes, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. I see all the names coming. Amen. Get ready for Rosh Hashanah breakthrough. Rosh Hashanah means the head of the year. So God is going to make you the head and not the tail. Amen. He's turning things around. Praise God. So this Monday, Amen. This Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard, we're doing a free Zoom webinar on Prophecy Now for Rosh Hashanah 5785 2025. Praise the Lord. If you're with me today, say amen. Well, thank you, friends. God bless you. If this word ministered to you, I want you to share this on your wall. Tag somebody and consider following me and becoming a subscriber, a member here, etc., etc. Now lift up your hands. Father, bless your children. As you're doing it with me and in me, may you do it with them and through these people. I bless you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Get ready for breakthrough, increase, supernatural increase in this season. In Jesus' name. And all of God's people say amen. God bless your friends. Love you. Happy Friday. Shabbat Shalom. I'll see you tonight in Modesto. This weekend in NorCal. And then next week, we're going to be in Mexico. Doing our glory miracle crusades. God bless you. Shalom.